and welcome back to flexible games where we are playing another brick in the mall and we had another gangbuster sales day yesterday twenty one thousand dollars in net profit which is glorious it's very helpful <clears throat> earning that much money of course we have back to school season coming up and uh we've already got a clothing store i've already added some clothes to this i've added a few high-end items as you can see we've got um laptops smartphones and tablets uh available in this little store i even have a little security guy you can see this guy running around here let's just slow it down here this little dude right here he's my security guy there's i i set up a patrol going through here i, I have no idea no idea if it actually does anything like i don't know but I set one up just to try to dissuade folks from, uh, you know, stealing some stuff. And I put in a lovely bus stop over here. Um, I can't really click on the bus stop to see things and stuff, but, um, but yeah, bus comes by, drops people off, picks people up, and uh, it just serves to have even, you know, more customers. I've added a few janitors. I've added another stock person, uh, another uh, checkout cashier person. Like I'm trying to meet up, and find you know, find little pockets here and there that uh, we need to, you know, make good. And uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it good. Okay. So first things first. What I want to do is I want to set up this um, and set up this. So this will be the main through fare from which our mall operates and then we're gonna have another store because I um, research now sales monitoring and uh, that allows you to open up the demand menu which is up here and it made me realize a thing um, forgot about this there are three tiers of products for every category basically so like books there's you know if you just have a bookshelf in a store and that's the that's like the only bookshelf in the entire store that's like a grocery store you are only ever going to sell tier one level books think like romance novels and just bad books basically in order to approach the tier three level, which look at the demand way up here. Okay, demand down here, demand way up here. In order to meet that, you have to have an actual bookstore. And the only way to get a bookstore is to have a store with over 50% books. Uh oh, what is this? Do I need a bathroom over here? Uh, that's what that is telling me. So how about we do like this? Oh, that's, that might be too big. Let's do this and then over here and then objects and door and then trash can and restroom. Okay, I need that to build first. Let's get our builders out here. Sign, store, I want to clear that. And then we want restroom in here. And build, toilet sink. There it is. It's red right now because it says it needs a toilet sink. So those things have to build first. All right, another day is gone. Restaurants, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be missing a lot of sales opportunities. Okay, um, this is the Crunch and Munch restroom. Uh, Crunch and Munch. Uh, Restaurant. Okay. 
or this hallway is ready to go. Now we would like to build foundations, a bookstore over here. Let's get a bookstore. A decently sized bookstore. Um, let's. Where do we want to go down with this? Or do we. Yeah. Let's go down here. Let's see, how wide is this? That's 11 wide. Ah! Search menu. Did not expect that to finish. Night hours. I think it's finally time to. Oh my goodness. Just go away. Sorry, builders. Um, let's slow it. Let's even pause it. So 11 here. That is a hallway. <clears throat> and remember, we can do stores inside of here as well. But I would like to have this set up so I can take and add another store here. I've been to a few malls in my day kind of know how this process works um okay so build object oh we don't, can't really build objects just yet so yeah let's uh speed that up um now i can build not restroom stuff um doors I should get rid of these since this is going to be a main hallway and we're going to divide it up into many stores. Wow, look at that. Night hours finished already. Glorious. All right. Fast food. Big data. No. I would like self-checkout. That would be nice. So let's, let's finally dive into security. Now that we're going to have some some uh, different stores okay so let's oh let's do double doors why not dun, 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 dun. it'd be nice to have like a full army of builders but man does that get oh look at our look at our sales again today twenty thousand that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, see, bookstore is one of the specialty stores that we want, that is in demand. So build, we want a, not, not we want a checkout counter. Here, 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 and here. Those ain't cheap, by the way. A thousand bucks a piece. Um, and now we want, not food shelf, we want books. I think, or is it a table? No, I'm pretty sure it's, it's a regular shelf. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we can skip one here. Skip one there. Bookstore galore here. And let's uh, finish her off. And we're open for business again. Boy, that fast forward really makes a difference, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, one left. Oh. Okay, slower down. Whoa, I forgot a. Yeah, I forgot a stock room. Yeah, I know this is over here, and we're going to have to finagle stock in various places. 
staff door and then staff door all right builders get on it and then not 100% sure if I want to have hmm let's slow her down again sign storage here and then the store like that and this is gonna be drop in knowledge link storage you are here so drop in knowledge is going to be oh 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 assign products uh da, 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 media shelf books 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 books, books. all these books uh let's do like music cds let's do like dvds and blu-rays how about some video games and then more 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 books so this should be officially a bookstore um so managed store staff hire cashier oh first 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 we're gonna do opening hour eight we're gonna go to well no let's do like eight o'clock at night i think that's probably the best way uh okay speed and sociability oh there's some good speed you would be a good stock clerk sir so we're gonna hire this cashier you're gonna start at eight and you're gonna go nine hours let's hire stock clerk where's my speedy where's mr speedy at uh oh i guess hmm. uh hire cashier speed and sociability Nah, she'd be a good cashier. Let's do 11. Boy, salaries are getting a little crazy. Um, hire cashier. Oh, look at all these. You'd be good for maybe peak time. Yeah, this is, this is getting a little crazy as far as the salaries and stuff go. Um, hire stock clerk. I still need one of these. There's somebody. There we go. Stock clerk. Um, dun -dun. there is a shift planning tool that you can sort of click and drag your, your guys around and uh, get all of the things that you need. Um, let's just hire one more cashier. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yes. This is going to be the happiest. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go you there. So yeah, now they have to come in and go all the way. But the, I mean, the bookstore, let's face it, is probably not going to have that much throughput. Um, let's try to fancy this one up a little bit. Let's do like floor tiles and let's see. Ooh, we could get like really crazy with it here. I don't know if this impacts anything. But it is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna try it out. See if anybody see if anybody likes it. Uh and then we got this coming back in here. So 
So now it's like, hey, where is this specific book? Well, it's in the uh, cobblestone section over here, or it's in the weird square section over here. All right. So, yeah, that's not the biggest storeroom in the world. Um, are we done? We're almost done with security. Did they go home already? I bet you they did. Yep, they went home already. All right, now I need my stock person to come in start stocking these shelves so this is officially a bookstore so we should be able to sell those tier three books which there is far more demand uh, if we look at let's say the media you can see the demand here for the tier three books they're more profitable and there's a huge amount of demand for them Okay, so we have this covered. Video games, um, it basically needs a video game store in order to get to these. But if you look at the profit margins, pretty much the same down the line. Um, the issue is then demand. If you want to open a video game store, then you get you tap into that 38 demand plus the 12 demand plus the 9 demand. So it just, it just helps. Um, and these, there's really nothing telling me. Yeah, see, this tells me the store type that I need. Um, if we go to like plants and gardening, you can see um, gardening store and then the flower shop. Okay, so gardening store would, would give you up to tier two. But you have to create a specialty flower shop in order to satisfy this level of demand. And there are some, there are some, uh, we're actually meeting most of the demand for a bar. And pretty much half the demand for arcade games. So we're not, we're not doing too bad there. Beverages. Um, we have a liquor store, so we are meeting this demand here. Which is good okay so if we go to uh, clothing women's shoes okay so you can have specifically a women's shoe shop and then you get this demand the 33 demand so jewelry we're not quite there yet if we go to dresses there is no tier 3 on dresses we're already meeting Quite a bit of the demand for those it's unfortunate because uh, those are a lucrative business um, one other area that we don't have press and print comic books ah comic book store <laughs> du, du, du. miscellaneous e-cigarettes vape shop okay I see what this is demand 22 Your tobacco shop so there's a lot of different types of shops I love, I love how school supplies are in with these two <laughs> that's funny <laughs> um, let's see toys and games I don't have a toy store but the demand see the demand is so low for that um it's it's not really worth a whole lot of effort you're only going to get six extra demand I, I don't see the the need for that there is some good demand there's there's a good reason construction toys um services fitness there's 73 demand for a fitness shop all right <clears throat> now where are appliances at clothing media clothing gardening Tools, no, there was appliances. <clears throat> Car tools. 
Okay, appliances. Cameras. Wow. Do I need a camera? I do need a camera store to tap into all of this demand. But look at that profit margin. Ooh, I would not meet need many sales in order to make a profit at um, you know two hundred twenty to four hundred forty dollars profit per sale. So there's a total of forty nine demand. I need a camera shop in order to meet that. Same here, probably with smartphones, phone shop, and then a electronics and appliances store. Open a store with already fifty percent of electronics and appliances so that those two are combined that's good to know electronics and appliance so washing machine is the same thing so I can create two well three different stores here no this is smartphones yep so I need a phone shop a camera shop um, and then an electronics and appliance store in order to satisfy all of these that's a huge, hugely profitable market if you can get into it. Um, all right, so this store is open already. Uh, this store, I don't think, opens until 8 o'clock. There we go. Now our stock person is in, and he is starting to stock our shelves, and we should have stock people coming in. All right, security is good. Now I can finally do self check. Oh, 192. Wow. What is this? Self balancing scooters. <laughs> um, let's let's invest in some cleaning tech. Okay, so this should be officially yep a bookstore. Excellent. Um, and let's let's rename this to um book storage oh wow desired load yeah there's not a whole lot of wiggle room there for that look at all the people look at the there's the profits just rolling in glorious all right so tons of books lots of video games and stuff Music CDs, well, 60 different types of products. There's another 30 grand. Um, this is glorious. So let's build, let's slow, slow things down. Since we unlock security, anti-theft system. So if we do one here and one here, one here, one here, or do we want to put it like in the, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying we need to, we need to put a wall right there. So if we speed that up and get those built. Please, please, please. There they are. Um, oh, look at that. Are we going to break our record? Uh, no, probably likely not. The grocery store, while profitable, does not give me that gross amount of material uh, in profit. So we did make a thousand dollars in our bookstore and we got in just in time uh, with, well, I guess, yeah, school back to school season is not not a thing um, you think that books would be you know popular but now we have school supplies I want to add but we're slow slow it down I want to manage I want to hire a cashier you here here stuck in traffic find there he is you're not stuck in traffic he's coming into work now but unfortunately all right so school supplies I do have several shelves 
of school supplies here. So today, this store, it's one of the reasons I wanted to hire another staffer, another cashier. This store could be very, very profitable today. Like, extremely. If, if pants, t-shirts, and dresses are any indication, um, we are going to be doing some gangbuster sales here. Let's go to clothing. Women's shoes, of course. Whoa, yeah, see, demand... Um, we need an actual women's shoe store in order to meet that huge amount of demand. Lingerie. Again, the demand is not really there. Oh, that would be only total of 47 demand. We would not need a whole lot there. Men's shoes. It's funny that men's shoes don't need their own store. It's kind of funny that dresses don't need their own store either. I don't know why we're not meeting the demand for this, but I guess it is what it is. We're going to need a specialized jewelry store to meet that. Oh, yeah, look at the dresses. 171, 187, 216. That is going to make a monumental difference. Oh, there, okay, there we got. We got all five of these being made now. Oh, where are all of our janitors? Look at the floor in here. Oh, this store is just going gangbusters. Okay, let's uh, see if we can't see before the episode ends here just how much money this store is going to make. Uh, fitness center, sure. Oh man, that was five hundred dollars. Somebody bought a laptop. Holy cow! <laughs> uh. If only I could have this store. Let's pause it. Pause. Manage. <clears throat> You're gonna be open until 2100. I kind of want to. I kind of want to increase you. And then let's set up. I'm not sure if that takes effect now. But I do not want people leaving. Yeah, we're going to get some we're going to get some issues here. There we go. Much better. And 38,000 yesterday. 38,000. That is... <clears throat> that took our record and just blew it out of the water. Crazy. 34,000 of that was just from one store. Crazy. Thirty-eight thousand in profit in one day. That that would make me sing all the way to the bank. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this episode, and I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.